Hi friends, my name is Caitlin and I am an educator at Spectrum and today I wanted to talk to you about gravity. Now, do you know what gravity is? Gravity is a force that everything in the universe that we can see experiences. I experience gravity, you experience gravity, the ocean experiences gravity, and so does the sun. So how do we, as humans, experience gravity here on Earth, which is a pretty small, medium-sized planet? Well, that's a pretty easy experiment to conduct. Let's just drop something. What happened? So I observed the pencil that I dropped, just dropped fall towards the ground, and that is how we experience gravity. But how do things in space experience gravity? Something like the Earth, which is so, so big, and something like the Sun, which is even a million times bigger than the Earth. Well, for that, we have to create a model, and that model is called a gravity well. So this is Spectrum's gravity well, and you'll be able to make something at home that's very, very similar to it. First, you'll want to grab something like a sheet or a light blanket, and you'll want to put it over something. So like putting it over a few chairs, like you were making a fort. So as you can see here, I have this blanket that's suspended over these PVC pipes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to secure them. And you can do this with chip clips or binder clips or something like that. And you'll want to make sure that the sheet that you put over the chairs or whatever is flat, but not tight. We want it to be just a little bit loose. So the last thing that you're going to need is stuff to represent your space stuff, like your stars and planets. The easiest thing to use are some different spherical objects, like marbles or baseballs. Uh, here I have some ping pong balls, uh, like weighted ball, and some marbles in this bag over here. So what do you think is going to happen when we place a mass inside of the gravity well? So I observed that mass going towards the center, and now we have some sort of divot inside of our gravity well. Now, what would happen if we added more mass to our divot? Well, let's find out. So it looks like the divot gets bigger. And so the bigger you are, the more mass you have, the more gravity you're going to experience, and the more things will want to come towards you. So let's try something else. Let's see what happens when we have a massive mass in the center of our gravity well, and we take a less massive mass and try to spin it around. There we go. So we just witnessed an orbit, and that is when something less massive moves around something that is more massive. And this happens all the time. This is how the Earth moves around the sun, and how the moon moves around the Earth. Hey, Caitlin, why didn't the balls keep moving around in a circle? They don't crash into everything in real life. Chandler, that's a really, really good question. But something that we have to remember is that these models are just models. These things are super, super, super tiny compared to what we're actually talking about. If Earth was about five inches in diameter or five inches across, the sun would be 30 feet across. So since we have such giant size differences, there is no way that we would be able to model everything correctly. But this is just the best model that we can create here on Earth. And another thing is that we're not in space. Right now, Earth's gravity is pulling on our gravity well. So that's going to make our planets or our orbiting objects fall faster towards the heavy objects. What did you observe? If you did this at home, please leave a video of your awesome systems in the comments down below. Take care and stay curious.